So today, we're going to be looking at some utilities that come in handy when working on hardware issues. Stay tuned. In my last video, I covered some of my favorite software to solve software issues. And I'll go ahead and tag that video right here so you can take a look at it if you want. But this video, I'm gonna look at some utilities that I normally use to solve hardware issues. If this kind of content interests you, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And now, without further ado, let's take a look at some of these utilities. So the first utility that we're gonna look at today is called Blue Screen View. This is a program made by Nearsoft and it's essentially just meant to be able to pull up your crash reports for the different blue screens that the computer has had. So if you ever have someone tell you that they've had a blue screen but they didn't record any of the relevant information and expect you to fix the problem, this is a great program to do it because all you do is run this program and it'll give you a list of all the blue screens that that system has had and you can use that to base your troubleshooting on. Let me show you the program. So unfortunately this computer hasn't had any blue screens so it doesn't have any records of blue screens on here but if it had the first window right here the, the top window will actually give you the list of the different blue screens it'll tell you what the what the bug code was and what the time and date that it actually took place and so you can actually be able to track the blue screens here and when you click on the individual crash dump file for the one that you're looking for it'll actually give you a breakdown in the bottom window right here of what actually caused that blue screen to happen, what, what drivers were involved and what system files were involved in that blue screen. So this program is really helpful for a lot of reasons. You know, I get people tell me all the time that, oh, ever since I got my computer back from you, I've had 37 blue screens a day for like two weeks. And then you go run this program on their computer and there's like three blue screens. And so it'll actually help with the accuracy if someone is exaggerating the problem more than they normally would. It'll also help you be able to determine if those blue screens have any pattern to them or if it's a specific driver causing those blue screens to happen. Like for instance, if you have a blue screen with the bug code IRQ not less or equal, you know, I found that that's almost always a problem with a bad stick of RAM. So you can actually use the blue screen records from the computer to be able to determine which direction you're gonna go when you're troubleshooting the hardware in that system. Now the next utility we're gonna look at is a utility called Crystal Disk Info. And this utility is actually a great utility to be able to troubleshoot problems with your hard drive. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, so from the program here, you can see the different hard drives that are installed on this computer. So I have one regular spinning disk and I also have an M2 SSD in this notebook. So what you can tell from here is you can tell first off if the smart data is good. And if the drive status is good, then usually you're okay. But you can also go through and you can actually see the different aspects of the drive itself. Like for instance, I can tell you how many hours the, the drive has been on. This drive here has been on for one year and 240 days and two hours. And it can tell you how many times it's powered up. It's been powered up 1,500 times. And it also tells you, you know, the rotation rate. You can pull the serial number from here, as well as the other, you know, important data that you can get from the smart data on the drive. Now, typically, the smart data that's recorded in here is going to be based on the manufacturer. So different drives are going to have different data. But some of the data that you're going to want to look at on these things is what I typically look for is the reallocated sector count and the pending sector count and those two can kind of give you an overall view of the the health of the drive itself if any of those two are above zero then I would replace the drive because it's gonna fail immediately or at least it's gonna fail eventually and I've had some drives last you know a year after having you know a reallocated sector and I've had them fail a week after getting a reallocated sector so typically once those numbers start to go up that's the one that's time to replace the drive and you can use a program like this to be able to determine when that is. The next utility that we're going to look at today is a utility called DDU, and it stands for Display Driver Uninstaller. Now, if you're having weird problems with your graphics driver and you can't figure them out, one 
One of the things that could be causing that problem is if you've updated your drivers, you think, well, I have the latest driver, so it definitely isn't a driver problem. But the problem is, is that when you update your drivers, the installer for the driver looks at the files that you already have on your computer. And if, for instance, one of those files wasn't changed in the latest drivers, it's not gonna replace it. So you, it'll replace only the files that had changed during the last time the driver was updated. So if you have a corruption in one of those files, that was left on the computer, then it still could be a driver problem and you just don't realize it. So what you can do is you can use this program from safe mode to completely remove the driver from your system and then that way you can install a new driver. And let me show you what it looks like. So from this program right here, and like I said before, you want to run this program in safe mode. You don't want to run this in regular mode, but you essentially go down here, you select your device type. So it's going to be GPU. It's going to automatically detect what kind of GPU you have in the system. You know, you can select it manually if you want. It's Nvidia, AMD, or Intel. Um, this one has integrated graphics, so it's going, to, it's going to pick the Intel integrated graphics that are in it. And then you would pick one of these three buttons right here. You can either rip the driver out and restart the computer computer or you can rip the driver out and not restart the computer or you can rip the driver out and just shut the system down and this is helpful if you're actually going to install a new graphics card and you want to remove the old driver before you install that card. Now what I would do before you actually run this program is make sure you go to your graphics cards manufacturer's website and get the latest driver for the card and get it downloaded onto your system. And then once you've done that, disconnect it from the internet before you run this program. And what that'll do for you is once you run this and restart your computer, your computer is gonna wanna automatically download the driver for your graphics card. And it's essentially gonna give you the driver from Windows Update. It's not gonna be as new of a driver as the one that you got from the manufacturer manufacturer's website. So since you already have that one downloaded, you can install that before getting your computer back on the network and have Windows Update take over for you. Because honestly, I would always recommend, especially when it comes to graphics drivers, to use the latest driver from the manufacturer's website instead of using the one that downloads from Windows Update. The next utility that we're gonna look at is a utility called Hardware Monitor. And this utility will allow you to see a lot of the health aspects of the system itself. You know, different voltages, wattages, and temperatures, as well as fan speeds and things of that nature related to the computer itself. Let me show you what the program looks like. So if you go through here, you can tell that I have an, a seventh generation Intel i5, and you can kind of go down here and you can see the different voltages that the processor is running at. You can see the package temperature as well as the temperature for each individual core in the system. And you know, honestly, this is running a little toasty at the moment, so I may have an issue going on there. But you can also go down and you can look at some of the different, you know, wattages that the computer is using, as well as the utilization for each individual processor itself and then this also shows you the um, temperatures and airflow around hard drives and things of that nature and it'll also give you the information related to your graphics card as well you can give you the GPU temperature and the GPU utilization if you have a, a discrete graphics card it'll actually give you a lot more information this is because I'm using the integrated card it doesn't give me a whole bunch in there and this also gives me information related to my battery itself so I can actually get the health of the battery itself from here so you you can use this information to be able to troubleshoot issues with your system. If it's running a little warm like this one is right here, I may be having a problem with airflow or I may have a plugged heat sink in the cooler itself. But either way, you can actually determine different problems that are happening with the system itself by looking at the different temperatures and voltages and things of that nature on the computer. So hopefully that'll be a helpful utility for you. The next utility that we're gonna look at is a utility called GPU-Z. And this utility is essentially just meant to give you all the information that you could possibly want about your graphics card. Let me show you what it looks like. So here you can see the graphics card that I'm currently using. It'll show the technology, the release date when it came out originally. It'll also give you all the specifics behind this graphics card. You know, the amount of shaders, the DirectX support for that specific card. Um, you can also come down, you can see the GPU and memory clock for this one. Normally you can see the amount of memory that the graphics card supports, but unfortunately this one, since it's integrated graphics, it's dynamically allocated. So it's not gonna give you a memory thing for my 
specific one, but for yours it should. So this program will work great if you're wanting to download new drivers for your graphics card and you're not sure which graphics card is in the computer, or if you wanna know, you know any kind of aspect about the graphics card that you have in the system and you wanna be able to find that, you can always look into this program to find it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to all these utilities in the description below. So if you wanna pick one of these up, go ahead and follow the link in the description. If this was helpful to you, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, before you go, take a look at one of these videos. Have a great day.